now we will solve a problem based on this punching machine let's consider this problem a punching press is driven by the constant torque electric motor press is provided a flywheel that rotates at maximum speed of 225 rpm the radius of gyration of flywheel is k 0.5 meters the press punches 720 holes per hour each punching operation takes 2 second and requires 15 kilonewton meter of energy find the power of the motor and minimum mass of the flywheel if the speed of the same is not to fall below 200 rpm so the maximum speed here is n1 which is given as 225 rpm the radius of gyration of flywheel is k equals to 0.5 meters and the punching holes the number of hole punched per hour is 720 the required energy is 15 kilo newton meter and the minimum speed is 200 rpm so the total energy required for second to punch the hole now total energy per second hold since uh, the energy required is 15 kilonewton meter of energy is required for 720 holes per hour and each punch takes 2 seconds so each punch requires 15 kilonewton meter of energy so 15 kilonewton meter it is simply of energy is required for each hole and we have 720 holes per hour if i replace this r by seconds and this that is 600 seconds this gives me 15 into 720 divided by 3600 kilo joule of energy per second if i convert it in joule i take 10 raised to 3 in multiplication of this quantity i replace this kilo so the total energy required to punch a single hole is 3000 newton meter per second so this much of the power of motor is required to punch a hole 3000 Newton meter per second is equals to 3,000 joules per second, or 3,000 watts, or 3 kilowatt, so whatever is there. Now the minimum mass of flywheel for so we know that the fraction of energy is used to per now the energy required per second is 3000 so energy required to punch a hole 
the energy required to punch a hole or uh, say it is e2 is 3000 joules per second so each hole takes two seconds so this much amount of energy is required to punch a hole that is 6000 each second we need 3000 and a hole required two second time so in two tech second the energy consumption should be 6000 joules 3000 times 2 now maximum fluctuation of energy that is delta e is equal to the energy supplied by the motor minus energy required for the punching is e1 minus e2 e2 is the fraction of e1 so it is 15000 newton meter or joule minus 6000 newton meter or joule so it is 9000 joules of energy delta e is the fluctuation of energy now the mean speed n is equals to n1 plus n2 by 2 n1 is to 25 rpm and n2 is 200 rpm 225 plus 200 divided by 2 is basically equal to 212.5 rpm so we know that the fluctuation of energy equals to pi square by 900 times of m k square into mean speed n into tons of mean you can also use the formula in which you have a value of cs that is coefficient of speed fluctuation of speed so if I substitute all the values, M is given, M is uh, required, M is required, minimum mass of variable, K is given, N is known, N1 and N2 are known, delta is known, so the value of M finally after all the calculations is equals to 618 kg. So this is the minimum mass of the flywheel required to apply the energy to the punching machine within the fluctuations range of 200 rpm to 225 rpm. So in this way, we can solve the problems based on the flywheels and the punching machines. If you have any doubt or query related to this topic or in this subject, you can share your doubts or queries on the given numbers here. Okay, thank you.